thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video will show you uh, uh, flow of account types. That's from chart of accounts to balance sheet and income statement. So right, right now I'm on uh, uh, chart of accounts. As you can see here, you have account name and then the account type. First one, you have bank and account suitable, other current assets, fixed assets, accounts payable, credit card type, other current liability, long-term liability, equity, and then you have income, and then you have cost of goods sold, and you have expenses, and underneath you have uh, other income and other expense. Uh, and then you have uh, non-posting, it's just listed in here sales orders and purchase order okay so when you enter transactions new transactions uh, it will flow from uh, you know these are your basic this is where you enter transaction this is the one you use to enter transaction and then it will flow through your your uh, financials okay here is uh, uh, the balance sheet in here the first one the middle one is the balance sheet on uh, then I have the other one is the uh, profit and loss I'll move this one and put this in the middle okay here we go I'll start from the bank here so here's your bank uh, bank type it's the, it's under current asset that's the first one you see all uh, checkings and savings and here's your bank type right here so this is how you see in your balance sheet company balance sheet and then you have account civil which is uh, another type is right here 35,000 and then you have other assets it's right here other assets uh, and then you have fixed assets fixed assets is right here okay and then other asset uh, it's right here like this other asset and so so if you add all those uh, asset type then becomes your total assets right here and uh, so if you want to resort let's say you want to see uh, uh, let's say fixed asset move up here you can't do it it's fixed type it's a uh, hardwired by uh, uh, QuickBooks and there's no way to reformat it so this is the way it is you will see in your balance sheet and let's go back to the profit and loss on the right side here okay the first one always of course uh, income statement is your income type is a listing of all the income as you have uh, uh, in your chart of account and if you don't use it uh, in your chart of account you won't see it in the PL of course the same thing with the balance sheet you have to use it you have to enter transaction to see it uh, in your balance sheet or profit and loss report all right so income statement and then you have the second one uh, underneath is your expense side which is your the second one is the cost of goods sold it's cost of goods sold this thing is right here cost of goods sold and then difference between your income and cost of goods sold is your gross profit so total goods cost of goods sold and then you have income income minus cost of goods sold is your gross profit okay and then uh, in here uh, then you have all kinds of expense categories and then after that you will show your total expense right here total expense total expense and then uh, it will then you'll show your uh, uh, net operating income they call it net ordinary income it's basically your operating income and then after that you see other income and ex uh, other expense like a uh, one-time uh, uh, charges or uh, uh, or a sort of extraordinary uh, type of items in here like for example loss on the sale of properties or some sort of extraordinary type and then you get the uh, then you have a if you have a provision for taxes you're paying taxes federal and state and you will see it in here too uh, so this is your net income okay so net income and it, it goes to your uh, it flows to your uh, balance sheet, of course, right here, net income. See, it's right here, net income, net income. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, end of the year, 
they will move this net income on first of year, say not a, not end of year. So this for the fiscal year uh, on first day they will move this net income to retain earnings and net become, net income uh, the net year is is zero. So that's how it works. Retain earnings is it's all combined profit and loss from prior years and uh, uh, this is part of equity. So you have a total total uh, Total assets minus your total liabilities is your equity. Uh, so that's how it is. So it's basically on the balance side, your total assets, listing of all the ba of your uh, bank and everything. Uh, and then on the liability side, uh, you, you have liabilities and then equity, and that becomes your total liabilities and equity. And this total liabilities and equity on the balance sheet, it should always match. There is, you know, otherwise there's no balance sheet. It's 153, 402, 05, and then on the liabilities and equity, also the same. So uh, that should take you up the floor, uh, and uh, subscribe our YouTube channels. We have two channels: BP Control and New QBO. New QBO deals with QuickBooks Online only. So check it out. So like us on Facebook and also visit our website. This is newquickbooks.com. That's uh, for a desktop only. Thank you.